Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another Quick Tips Tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. Want to know how to fix these bird's beaks? You could see they're discolored. These are northern gannets. And they're very discolored because they probably just finished eating a meal. So we want to clean these beaks up. In our particular case, I think the best thing to do is to just kind of smudge in a new color. If you try to use the clone stamp tool, there's not enough portions here to use the clone stamp. So what I'm going to do is grab the polygon lasso tool and you can see down here we don't choose the lasso we choose the polygon lasso and I'm going to zoom in and if we grab each section here and smudge it in I think that should fix most of the problems so I'm going to zoom in here and start on one end and I'll left click and see there's a line attached to this polygon lasso and it wants to create a whole polygon so I'm going to do that by clicking and I'm following the edge of the white and black where it meets and this will allow us to determine a particular area that we want and when we start smudging it'll only stay within that area and I'll show you what I mean in a second and I'm basically clicking here to remake the portion that I want to be the same color of the beak and that's going to be this kind of lighter whitish bluish area here and I'll come down here like that and when I get to the end here I'll double click and that closes the loop in the polygon and you can see the marching ants now anything we do inside there stays inside there so I'm gonna go over here and grab the smudge tool and look down here on the brush you start off at the top with harsh brushes these are hard edge brushes I'm gonna scroll down here till I see a soft edge brush and here's a good one like around 17 points now, now that might be a little bit small so I'm gonna change that 17 points I don't know maybe to a 25 point that makes it a little bit bigger now I can grab the edges here and smudge them out see what's happening I'm smudging and if I want to soften this I just kind of smudge back and forth a little bit I don't want to do too much so it looks fake see this brown spot I'm gonna smudge that all out and it doesn't matter if I go beyond the lines because the lines will stop anything that I'm doing so it won't do anything beyond those lines and I'm just softening this up all this brown up here I can smudge some of this white blue over to cover all of that and once we get to the end that's pretty much all there is to it it's really simple to do and next we can grab this portion here but we got to be careful because it's attached to this portion here and there's kind of a black uh, spot in the middle so we just have to cut around that so I'm going to start the polygon right here and just follow this whole image here like that come on up here it's kind of an artistic license here where you have to kind of choose where it's going to go now when I get to the end here and I can double click to close the uh, loophole which gives us the marching ants now if I grab the smudge tool again let's see how big it is that might be too big because watch what happens if I smudge this but have this over here see what happens it ends up smudging those colors into this portion over here I'm going to undo that so what I'm going to have to do is get a smaller brush here instead of 25 points I'll make that 15 points now you see it's smaller so now I can just smudge just what I want and I have to be careful because I can pull in the blue from the outside into it but I can't go back out so I'm gonna make this even smaller like about eight point for this little tiny section here see that and I smudge that out when you get into smaller sections you just use smaller brushes now for this portion here I'll go ahead and make it bigger like 15 point and we'll carefully smudge this out making sure not to go into that other portion on the left and you see it was kind of brown so I have to grab blue from over here now let's go ahead and do the top portion up here see it's a little small let's make that 15 points so you got to just change the size of the brush every once in a while and I'll let it stay a little dark over there towards the end just so that it shows that it was a little dark and that's looking pretty good right around there I'm gonna zoom out 
and I'll hit Control D to deselect the uh, portion we had selected, and there you go. It's looking pretty darn good. Now I might want to fix the black a little bit using the same technique, once again with the Polygon tool. I can start down here, draw my outline of where I want the black to be, and I'll double click. That closes the loophole, leaving us the marching ants. Let's grab our smudge brush. This is a little big, but it's okay because we're just smudging the black. And if the color ends up smudging itself to a kind of a grayish color and I want it to stay black, all I got to do is grab the eyedropper tool. I'll pick a nice black color that I want. Look for the most black I can find, like right from there. And that's over here in the color palette. If I choose that color palette, I can see where it's at. I'll make it even a little bit darker right there. Hit OK. Grab the paint brush and then come down here. Let's grab a soft brush. Let's do something like... Uh, 17 point and I can just brush that in like this and look what it happens it makes it all pure black inside there and I'll control D to deselect and there we have it that's looking pretty good now I'll fast forward the video so you can see it in fast motion And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now all we got to do is go to Enhance Lighting and Brightness. And all we can do is kind of brighten this up just a tiny bit like this, in just a tad. And if we want, we can lower the contrast to soften it up or make the contrast up a little higher. But then it starts to look kind of fake. So let's just kind of play around with this and probably just leave it right around plus five. I think that looks pretty good. Here's the before and after. It just brightens up the whole thing just a tad. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Rich calling and quits, saying over and out.